Introducing the 2250P Boring Bar, offering power and precision for safe, reliable, and accurate on-site boring. The 2250P has an impressive boring range, covering applications from 2.5 inches all the way up to 24 inches in diameter. It's available in bar lengths ranging from 4 feet to 12 feet. To select the correct bar length, take the total length of the boring bar assembly, which is 27.83 inches, plus the dimension of the application, plus the desired stroke, equals the required bar length. To start the boring application, slide the bar through the bore. Slide the centering cones over the bar and into each bore. After each install, secure the cone to the bar by tightening the collar. With the cones locked in place, they can now be pushed into the bore. For bores greater than 9 inches, use the available cone extensions. This application requires two single arm bearing supports externally mounted outside each bore. Standoffs are attached to the single arm support. Bearing should be centered with the assembly to assure maximum adjustment. Loosen the hex bolts on the face of the support. Use the radial adjustment bolts on the side of the support to center the bearing. Tighten the adjustment bolts when complete. Loosen the swivel clamp bolt on the bearing to allow for any misalignment in the setup. The support assemblies are now ready to be installed onto the bar. With the first support in position, the standoffs can be tack welded to the workpiece. Bearing supports can also be clamped to the workpiece as shown with a second support. Hydratite offers several mounting options. Review the application and use the mounting supports that are most suitable. After the bearing supports are secured, tighten the swivel clamp bolts on each bearing. Next, loosen the collars on the centering cones. Slide the bar through the bore to remove the cones. Slide the bar back through the bore and the end support. For tighter tolerance applications, sweep the bore with a dial indicator to determine additional adjustment. The 2250P spherical bearing supports allow for up to 5 degrees of bar alignment and up to 1 quarter inch of radial adjustment. For radial adjustment, loosen the four hex bolts on the face of the support. Then adjust the position of the bar using the four radial adjustment screws located on the side of the support. When complete, tighten the hex bolts to secure the position. With the bar centered, slide the rotational drive over the bar with a collared end facing the bearing support. The collar of the rotational drive fits over the bearing support and is held in place with two alignment bolts located on the top of the housing. Install the feed screw into the rotational drive. The feed screw bracket has three mounting options, one on the top, and one on each side. With a bracket in position, the feed screw can be fed into place. The end of the feed screw is equipped with a 3 8 inch square pocket and can be rapidly advanced into position using a cordless drill fitted with a 3 8 inch drive. When complete, the feed screw can be locked into place with a jam nut. 
Next, install the axial feed assembly. The feed nut on the axial drive is partially threaded, which allows for quick alignment with the feed screw. Make sure the axial feed is in the neutral position and use a ratchet or drill fitted with a 3 h inch drive to rapidly advance the assembly onto the bar. When complete, lock the collars on the front and back of the axial feed unit. Position the bar into location with the mounting hole adjacent to the bore. Make sure to account for feed direction and travel necessary to complete the required bore. The chrome plated boring bar has tool mounted holes every 6 inches starting 1 half inch from the bar end. The mounting holes are equipped with an adjustment screw on the back side of the hole. Advance the bar into the workpiece. Touch the bit off the inside diameter of the bore using the adjustment screw and lock the bit into place using the set screw. Advance the bit out of the bore. Using a dial indicator, set depth of cut by advancing the adjustment screw in the tool holder. When in position, secure the bit by tightening the set screw. When secure, advance the bit adjacent to the bore being machined. The 2250P has pneumatic, hydraulic and electric drive options. Each drive option attaches to the rotational drive with a keyed shaft and two mounting screws. With the drive motor installed, attach the control pendant. Set the direction and feed rate on the axial feed assembly. The control pendant for the electric drive option includes a master on-off switch, emergency stop, start, and dial speed control. After starting the 2250P, adjust the speed on the control pendant and feed rate on the axial feed assembly as needed. To begin bore welding, remove the bar components and bar from the bore. Remove the bearing from the end support. Attach the bore welding support bracket to the end bearing support. Slide the bore weld drive onto the support. Attach the conduit and welding gun to the bore welder. Loosen the extension tube clamp and telescope the welding gun to the bore being worked on. Set the stick out. Once in position, rotate the welding gun and confirm it is centered in the bore. Disengage the clutch and confirm adequate travel to complete the bore weld. Plug in power to the bore welder. Adjust the bore welding speed setting to the diameter of the bore and begin the welding. With the welding complete, reinstall the bearing, 
boring bar, and drive assemblies. With the bar back in position, tool in place, and depth of cut set, the welded board can now be machined back into tolerance. The Hydratite 2250P features a wide assortment of standard equipment as well as optional accessories to cover a range of boring applications. The Axial Feet has several features to aid in boring applications. Forward, Neutral and Reverse can be adjusted using the slide positioning lever. A locking screw with detents assures positive engagement of the selected direction. Rate of feed can be also adjusted using the top mounted knob and monitored using the feed rate scale located on the face of the axial feed housing. Axial feed stops can be mounted to the feed screw for increased control. The 2250P has three boring heads covering a range from 4.5 inches to 24 inches. The larger diameter boring heads are equipped with a fine radial adjustment, allowing for quick and accurate tool positioning. For bores less than 4.5 inches, tooling can be inserted directly into the bar. Also available are facing heads covering a range from 2.25 inches up to 24 inches. The facing attachment utilizes a unique cam tripper which actuates the cutter over an increased surface range resulting in a consistent machine surface. Optional universal bearing supports are available. Each support is equipped with three arms for securing the bearing to the workpiece. Intermediate supports are also available to assure a ridged setup. Supports are available in two sizes, covering a range of 5.8 inches up to 26 inches. Each assembly is equipped with front-facing adjustment, providing quick and convenient actuation of the extension feet. The 2250P Boring Bar. Offering power and precision best-in-class features.